Hi everyone. It is hard to believe, but we are at the finish line for this epic sew along. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to in install an invisible zipper. Um, you can see on view A and B version, my poppy version here, that I've been able to do it um, by concealing the zipper tape between the lining and the fashion fabric. Um, so I'll show you exactly how I'm able to do that and get this really beautiful finish in your version um, if you're making v version A or B. And then I also have some tips for, you know, extra special finishes for your zipper um, in any case. But as you can see on view C and D, we are unable to conceal the zipper tape because of the wrap front. So the wrap front does not allow us um, to do that because we have to um, pretty much base together the waist seam um, to hold the wrap together. And when you do that, you can't turn the lining like you would need to in order to accomplish that. So if you are making view C and D, no worries. You are going to install the zipper the same way um, as I've instructed here, except before you start, you're gonna go ahead and finish your lining and your fashion fabric. You're going to serge them together or finish this raw edge however you've been finishing your edges throughout the rest of the dress um, so that you have one completed um, center back seam. And then you're gonna use the same steps to install the invisible zipper as I have instructed in the remainder of the video. Grab your skirt, attach it to your bodice, then grab your invisible zipper. I chose red, obviously, um, and press open the teeth. Just very lightly press along the teeth and press them open and you will have your zipper prepped and I'll show you how to install an invisible zipper. Okay, first things first, you need to pull your lining. Um, obviously I have my dress laid out with the center back facing up. Um, and I pulled the lining out just a little bit up here at the neckline. Um, and we are going to place the zipper right sides together. So the zipper pull should be facing down and the right edge, the right raw edge, meaning like if the teeth are the right, are not the raw edge, and the edge of the band is the raw edge. Does that make sense? I've never really explained this before, I'm realizing. Okay, so face down, zipper pull down, and the raw non-zipper teeth edge lined up with the edge of your dress. And then you're going to place the zipper stop, which is that plastic thing at the end of the zipper tape, um, five eighths inches below your finished edge of the neckline. And this is so we can add like a cute little hook and eye um, to finish closing it. But so basically the um, little pinked edge uh, matching up with the finished edge of the dress. Um, what else? Other things to make sure of, your skirt should be serged but your bodice does not have to be surged. Um, you're gonna use an invisible zipper foot to do to attach it. Yeah, I just pin all along. Here, I'll show you what it looks like after I get it pinned. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the little pinked edge of the zipper lined up with the finished edge of the neckline. I've got the raw edge of the zipper tape facing the raw edge of the fabric, but I have measured out, or at least eyeballed, um, 5 eighths of an inch because the center back seam is in fact 5 eighths of an inch. Um, I've got it pinned all the way down with the pins facing the neckline um, and the zipper tape is placed with the zipper pull side or right side facing the fabric. So this is the easy part. You're gonna sew on this side of the zipper, obviously keeping this side completely free and keeping your lining free and your 
I guess, midriff seam, top midriff seam pressed open, and waist seam pressed up. Lots of little things, but this is the easy part. <laughs> okay, so that part, that side of the zipper is attached. I have gone ahead and prepped the next step, and that is to fold back the zipper tape above the zipper stop um, and just pin it into place, and that's so that it doesn't try and creep out and um, become visible when after you get your zipper completely done, you want it to look like a clean raw edge, like so. Um, then I have zipped up the zipper just past the two um, waist uh, midriff seams, and then I placed an itty bitty notch into the zipper tape um, where those lines cross the zipper tape. And it's easiest to close up the zipper and do it this way because obviously the zipper tape lays flat um, and allows you to get a fairly accurate um, little snip in your zipper tape. Then you are going to want to get this stuff. This is called wonder tape. Um, I've talked about it before. It's been a favorite before. It's pretty much awesome. But it's basically two-sided washable tape. Um, and so you're going to peel away a piece of this that is, I mean, depending on how confident you are, um, either just the width plus a couple of extra inches of your midriff, um, or maybe even the entire length of the zipper. It really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of how much of this you want to use. But what it's going to do is hold your zipper into place um, so that these waistband midriff seams um, don't shift around and they line up perfectly with the ones over here. So you are going to lay down a piece of wonder tape, unzip your zipper, eek, one-handed unzipping. Um, you are going to flip your zipper once and then twice. And then you're gonna line up those little notches that we cut with the midriff seam lines on the other side of the dress. So again, if you had your zipper zipped up, it would be like this, and you're gonna flip it once, and then flip it twice, and then line it up this exact way. I'll show you what it looks like whenever I get it all pinned in place. Okay, so I've got the other side of the zipper tape completely attached. You can see that I flipped it twice and the raw edge of the zipper tape here is now lined up with the raw edge of the fabric of the center back. I have placed, I left it peeking out a little bit so you guys could see. I left the wonder tape, um, or I placed the wonder tape just along the um, seam line where the tape of the zipper would go but you just stick it on to your dress and then peel back like the little lining or the little like, I don't know, whatever this stuff's called. Um, and then stick the zipper tape to the wonder tape and it sticks on there pretty good. And when you go to wash your garment, this will all wash away and it was like it was never there. It's called wonder tape. It's awesome. And then once again, I have lined up the little pinked edge of the zipper tape to the finished edge of the neckline up here. Um, the pins face the hem this time because you're going to be sewing this way. Um, what else? The little notches actually aren't matching up really well. I don't know if this is going to focus that great. So I've got to redo that part because there's my notch and then my seam is like an eighth of an inch over and it doesn't look like much now but it will be whenever you flip it over this one however is perfect can you guys see that oh it's just too close but anyways there's the little notch <laughs> there's the seam my nail is sticking to the wonder tape anyway so yeah i just got to scooch this one over an eensy little bit that's how shifty it can be this zipper so the wonder tape really does help keep it all into place. So I'll fix that and then zip it, I mean, and then sew it on and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, she is all attached, both sides of the zipper tape. Um, I've also pulled back the zipper tape at the neckline again and pinned it down. And then if you want to see how the magic happens, you just flip this guy over. I am not gonna be able to do this one-handed. How can I 
I wish I had like a chest. Um... And there you go. Here, let me try and do it this way. <laughs> this is not awkward. All right, there we go. Now we're zipping and filming. See, and your um, waistband midriff should be perfectly lined up. You can see I'm an eensy teensy bit off on the upper um, seam line. And then the lower seam line is actually way off. Darn it all. Um, so, and it's like away from the, like it's not perfectly closed. So I'll go back and kind of perfect that. But you can see the rest of the zipper looks really, really good. And I, I am fairly happy with this. I mean, that is super close. Um, anyway, so we've still got this completely opened. Um, and we haven't attached our lining yet. So once you get that perfected, the next step is to unzip your dress and take your lining, the center back of the lining, pull it out as much as you can and flip it so that it is right size out. Again, I'm having a hard time doing this right-handed, but you're gonna flip it over the over the neckline. Okay, I've got the lining pinned to the dress, right sides together, and I matched up the upper seam line of the midriff and folded up the seam allowance of the bottom of the midriff and lined that up with that seam line that's there. One really, probably the most crucial part of this is to make sure that when you pull the lining to the wrong side or to the outside of the dress that you pull this whole section down and pull that seam allowance and your under stitching and all of that to this side of the fabric. You don't want it to be where the stitch line is right on the folded edge. Um, similar in thought kind of sort of to like why we trimmed the lining. This is just going to ensure that when you flip this right sides out that that lining will stay on the inside and not peek out and you'll get a nice crisp corner. I've also still got the zipper tape. Can you see it peeking out there? Um, folded over and pinned into the seam allowance as well. So again, you're gonna sew this about a quarter of an inch, eighth an inch away from the zipper teeth um, and then trim the corner and flip it right sides out and you will have a perfect um, center back lining with the zipper tape encased. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what our center back looks like now. Isn't that beautiful how the lining encases the zipper tape? I just love it. Okay, so I also went ahead and attached the hook and eye. Um, feel free to do that if you'd like. You just hand sew it on. Um, what else? Okay, so we have to finish the bottom of the skirt. Okay, so you're gonna take your invisible, no, your regular zipper foot and you are gonna stitch just outside of the stitch line from where you attached the zipper, uh, maybe an inch above where it stops all the way down to maybe an inch past, keeping this little guy out of the way completely. And then you're gonna switch to your regular zipper foot and you're gonna continue that seam all the way down to your hem. Um, if you've already done your hem like I have, you might want to unstitch a little bit of it so that you can get that flat, flip it back up, and then finish the hem that way. Um, so yeah, so finish up your center back. Okay, we are nearing the end here. I went ahead and sewed up the rest of the center back seam, finished off the hem, and then I did some totally optional little details that you might want to do depending on how fancy um, you want your dress. So you can cut off a little square of your self fabric and encase the raw edge of the zipper tape uh, you can also sew the zipper tape down to the garment. Um, I've done mine, you can't see red stitching probably, um, maybe an eighth of an inch away from the teeth, um, yeah, from the zipper teeth. Um, again, it's just one little detail to, you know, keep everything nice and orderly on the inside. 
So the very last step here is to find some trashy television at home and hand sew your lining to your bodice or to this I guess to the skirt um so you're just gonna you know fold under you can even press the lining if you like the seam allowance press the seam allowance up and then attach it to the dress and then we will be all done Alrighty, so we are completely done with the sew along. So exciting. I am going to conceal my dresses um, except for this back view so you can see what your linings are supposed to look like um, until next week um, whenever I will show you my finished garments. Um, hopefully yours have come together as beautifully as you had imagined as well and you're loving your royal wedding dress. Um, don't forget to head on over to the Facebook group, the Royal Wedding Sew Along Facebook group. I'll have a link in the description box where you can access that. And if you are posting your dress on social media as you wrap it up and complete it, be sure to hashtag Royal Wedding Sew Along so that we can all find it if you want to tag me. Feel free to do that. If you want to tag New Look 6526, if you're making this version, I would love that as well. Um, so yeah, show off your makes now that we have put all this hard work into it. Hope you appreciate this video and learned a little bit about installing zippers and zippers with linings. And I will see you guys next week when I will be modeling both of my dresses. Bye.